What's going on everybody? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys um, pretty much how to re replace the spindle on an old uh, PlayStation 1. Uh, I already filmed this once and I decided to redo it. Um, originally what I had done, uh, I was trying to be cheap and it did work, um, but I just didn't want to leave it the way I had it. So what I did was I ended up robbing a spindle out of a uh, DVD player. I think it was like a small small Phillips DVD player uh, that I picked up from Walmart for cheap. Um, and in those, uh, here's your spindle and then you've got the magnet that has to go down on top of it. Um, I had this in there. It did work. It was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, basically when you're setting the spindle down on top of the motor here you've you've got to gauge the depth of it um, and I'm not going to push that down on there because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off but basically what the hell is on my hand basically you want just a little bit of this protruding from the top of the spindle you don't want it completely down uh, or else it kind of rubs and if you leave it all the way up the laser cannot read the disc. Now if you have like an old CD Walkman or an old stereo that had a CD player in it you can rob a spindle off of it. Um, this is the actual one that come out of the uh, Sony PlayStation. I ordered a couple of new ones or like a, a uh, ceramic I want to say or something like that um, originally and I, I think in the original video I filmed I got some footage of the uh, broken one I, I wasn't really sure what the hell had happened with mine I had just picked up Twisted Metal 4 I had been really wanting to play the game um, took out uh, I think I had Resident Evil 3 in took that out put Twisted Metal in <coughs> and it wouldn't read it and I knew the last time that I had play, <clears throat> played uh, Resident Evil on there, the console was working just fine. Um, I went and pulled Twisted Metal out to see if the disc that I just purchased was bad, because I didn't really look it over when I got it. And this center section of spindle had come out still attached to the disc. I didn't realize this was a like a little two-piece deal. Um, so I got to looking at it. I found one of the uh, BBs that I had lost, and there's like a little orange O-ring in there that keeps those in place. You can kind of see it there. Uh, Pop that back in there, and I just sat this back down on top of that. And it worked, actually. Um, somehow it did work. And I played for a little bit. Gameplay was good, but the opening uh, scene was really... Uh, it would skip a lot, and, and it was glitchy, and it just kind of looked like hell. Um, but gameplay worked fine. Um, so I played it on that for a while, and then like I said, I um, went ahead and did this. Um, I don't really recommend this. Like I said, if, you, if you're if you just being cheap and that's all you got, go ahead and do it in a pinch. Be my guest, it'll work. Um, but like I said, I purchased these. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop this on here. And uh, I don't know... For certain, if uh, I need to, I don't really want to push from that ceramic stuff. It's kind of a tight fit. Oh, I hope I don't need to pull that off for any reason or that's going to break. There's no, that's not on all the way. It can't be. Boy, that's tight. I'm just going to go for it. Well, it's on there. 
So yeah, you can see there's a little bit protruding out the top there. I think that's where it needs to be. Looks good. I think she's going to be good to go. So, really simple, guys. Um, that's how you replace the spindle. Uh, obviously, if it's coming off in pieces, you don't really got to worry about breaking it, pulling it off. Just um, get uh, like a little plastic, um, I think they call them like spudgers, um, for taking electronics apart would be best. Just kind of work around the edge of it. That one went on super tight, so I think if I ever have to take that off, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, I think I got these off of eBay. Um, I just typed in um, <clears throat> original PlayStation um, disc spindle uh, or something that equivalent, and um, it popped them up real Real quick, I think I got these uh, two of them for like nine bucks, free shipping. I think you can get singles for four dollars, a little over four bucks, so not too bad. Um, I got this one as a spare if something happens. Like I said, if you've got a uh, old school stereo with a CD player on it or uh, like a CD Walkman, you can most definitely rob one out of that and it'll work. All right, guys. So last night uh, I showed you. Well, you haven't seen it yet, uh, but I recorded changing the spindle on the PlayStation 1 uh, with a new, you probably can't see that, uh, but anyway, replacing the uh, spindle with a new ceramic one, uh, and I mentioned that you could also do it with one of these magnetic ones that you can pull out of a DVD player. Uh, I wanted to take it back to how it was supposed to be, and... As soon as I put that thing in there, they wouldn't read a disc anymore. Um, I'm thinking it's got something to do with the distance from the disc, uh, between the disc and the laser. Uh, I've got this thing as far down as it can go without actually hitting. Uh, I did manage to get it to work a little last night, but uh, I tried again this afternoon. And I get stuck at the black um, PlayStation screen, splash screen, and that's where it stays. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick it on, see what it does. Whoop. And it sounds like it's hitting right now. Unless something is completely screwed on my PlayStation. It's definitely hitting. Okay, well, I'm going to try to, <coughs> I don't even see how it's doing that. Uh, so this is the second one uh, I had ordered two, and the first one got pushed down too far, and I don't have the right stuff to be doing this, so more than likely I'm going to break in this one. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is just try to get a little breathing room. Maybe that will done it. And before anybody starts commenting, yes, I know a flathead screwdriver is not the uh, correct way to go about doing this. But that's all I got right now. So <sighs> This thing's fucking scratching the shit out of my disc. All right, let's see what happens with that. If this don't work, I'm swapping the magnet back in because I could actually get the cutscenes and stuff to play on that uh, and be smooth instead of uh, freezing and skipping. So this is where it usually gets stuck. If this don't work, which now it's going to and make me look like an ass, See how it's freezing and skipping? I don't know what the hell the deal is. I'm thinking, regardless of if I break this or not, I'm going to put this metal one back in here and see what happens. If it still acts funny after that, 
Uh, maybe I potentially messed something up. <clears throat> Having to push that damn thing down on the motor. I realize they have to be tight, but it was a little ridiculous how much pressure I had to put on to get that thing installed. So, um, I don't even know if it's worth going about trying to be gentle with this thing. Considering all I've got is this big flathead screwdriver. We'll see what happens if it breaks and breaks. It's breaking. It's broke. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> Anyway, this is kind of what happened. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. So this is kind of what happened to the original one, uh, now that I'm in here doing this, is this top piece, I don't know if you can see that, this top piece completely separated. You can see the BBs in there, and then there's this little O-ring that keeps those in place. Um, but that's basically what happened the first go around. So I'm going to go ahead and put this magnetic one back in and see what is going to happen. Hopefully it works, uh, but if not then hey I guess I get to make another video about changing shit out. Let's see if this works. Sounds good. Maybe I got lucky and got the depth right on the first time around. We'll see. Getting to wonder if something else ain't wrong with this thing now. I don't think it's the disc I've had. I'm wondering if my laser is moving. I think if I go down any further with this, it's gonna start hitting. See? No skipping, no freezing, no glitching, smooth. Alright, well, what did we learn here today? Don't listen to me and don't use the original 
ceramic spindles uh, because apparently <clears throat> it works better with a magnetic one. I don't know. Let's check out some gameplay real quick. I guess I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't know. I'm assuming it was distance between the disc and the laser, but those things went on so darn hard that I just couldn't get anything set right because once it got pushed down, it would go too far and then I couldn't bring it up anymore without the ceramic completely breaking. So, I mean, I was kind of screwed on those from the get go, I guess. So, this video, uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of a disaster. I was kind of all over the place with it, but, uh, Hopefully I can edit a majority of it out and make it somewhat decent. This is basically the only reason I wanted this PlayStation was for uh, Twisted Metal and Resident Evil 3. <coughs> It's funny that this looks so much better. I mean, not... Well, it is funny. But it looks so much better on the CRT than a HD TV, obviously. myself, I think. Ooh. Oh shit, I'm forgetting the controls of this game. Missiles are your friend. Alright, guys, well, as we can see, it's working. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so, if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, um, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Um, so, until next time, catch you guys later.